हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन थर्मल हिस्ट्री ऑफ द यूनिवर्स फॉर द मटेरियल दैट आई विल बी कवरिंग इन दिस सीरीज यू कैन फाइंड द नोट्स एंड एक्सरसाइजेस ऑन माय वेबसाइट www.mycosmicschool.com इन दिस सीरीज विल स्टडी द इम्पॉर्टेंट इवेंट्स इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द यूनिवर्स स्पेशली द history of the early universe will study the following one of the most important things that we are interested in is the relationship between the ta- between the temperature and the time so all these are time variables here time as we have seen in the standard model of cosmology time can be expressed in terms of the scale factor and it can be expressed in terms of the redshift all these three time scale factor and redshift are the time variables we are interested in knowing about uh, the relationship between temperature and one of these time variables for example we will be interested in knowing how t is related to a and once we know how t is related to a we know how t is related to time how how temperature is related to the redshift and as we have seen in the standard model that uh, the relationship between temperature and scale factor is a t is equal to constant so this scale factor a and the temperature t capital t is equal to constant in this lecture series we will see that there is more to it that a and capital t temperature is equal to constant is an approximation which holds well but if we if we want to obtain a more accurate uh, expression then that expression is something else and we will derive that expression in this lecture series next we want to know that at a time t so once we know uh, once we find temperature capital t in terms of scale factor or in terms of time or in terms of redshift z then we can say that this temperature capital t is also a time variable so all these are time variables temperature time scale factor redshift we once we know one variable we can find the other variable so at a time t or you can say at a temperature capital t because temperature is now also a time variable so we want to know that at uh, let's say at uh, temperature capital t what species were present in the universe this is something that we will explore in our lecture series we will look at uh, uh, answer to this question in detail then we want to know that at a temperature capital t so time is basically temperature uh, variable all these are time variables so at a time t or at a temperature capital t what species were relativistic and what were non relativistic we will see that it is very important to distinguish between the two it is very important to know that at a given time or at a given temperature in the evolution of the universe what are the relativistic species relativistic species play an important role and we will see what that role is and why it is important to know that what species are relativistic and what are non relativistic next we will be interested in knowing the number density of species as a function of temperature so basically uh, i am uh, interchanging uh, between time and temperature they both are same so when i say as a function of temperature i mean as a function of time when i say as a function of time i mean as a function of temperature 
when i say as a function of temperature i mean as a function of scale factor so all these are time variables next it is important to understand the meaning of the term species species is the main you can say that species is the main category of the particle for example if i say electron if i say species is electron now in electron there are two spins so plus half and minus half so there are particles of type uh, plus half there are particles of type minus half and they all belong to species electron similarly for neutrinos there are three flavors mu neutrino tau neutrino electron neutrino and uh, when i say species species is one species is neutrino and then there are three different flavors so species is the main category of particles you can say and in this uh, series we will use the term species a lot okay so next we are interested in calculating energy and energy density of species as a function of temperature or you can say as a function of time next is we are interested in knowing about entropy and entropy density as a function of temperature or time basically you can say we want to see that how entropy and entropy density evolves we also want to see the evolution of pressure we want to see we want to understand the mechanisms that led to the formation of nuclei from protons and neutri neutrons then after the nuclei formation we will study the formation of atoms from the nuclei and then we want to study the cosmic microwave background the cosmic microwave background is a stream of photons we will see that initially in the early universe the photons were coupled to baryons and then at one point they got decoupled from baryons and that led to the formation of cosmic microwave background we'll study the physics of uh, the formation of this cosmic microwave background and of and also we will study the formation of cosmic neutrino background which is the stream of uh, neutrinos decoupled neutrinos and this actually happened before the formation of cosmic microwave background so neutrinos were uh, decoupled before photons were decoupled this cosmic microwave background is stream of photons and cosmic neutrino background is the stream of neutrinos decoupled neutrinos and this is decoupled photons and we will see the physics that led to the decoupling of neutrinos decoupling means that uh, there was a time when neutrino was interacting with the other particles and that at one point neutrino stopped interacting with the rest of the with the rest of the species with the rest of the thermal mixture and after that neutrinos became decoupled and similar thing happened to the photons photons were coupled to baryons and then at one point they got decoupled which means they stopped interacting with the baryons and that uh, led to the formation of cosmic microwave background so these are just the high levels and i am still in the process of uh, designing the advanced uh, parts of this course and i'm sure there will be more to it than uh, than these uh, 11 points that i just listed here okay that's all i have for today for this uh, video thanks for watching take care see you next time